Hold up. Only rapper to rewrite history without a pen. No ID on the track. Let the story begin. 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 This is anti- Until around the 1960s, it was very rare for a professional sport athlete to have an agent. But when Mark McCormick, the founder of IMG, signed legendary golfer Arnold Palmer as his first client in 1960, the first sports agent was born. When free agency began in 1976, agents were given the leverage to negotiate with owners, which sparked competition between agents for players and for higher salaries. As a result, players became able to create their own brands and, in turn, create their own worth. Because free agency started bringing in a lot more money for these agents and players, sports agencies were created in order to bring people in to help manage this growing segment of the market. Over the years, this business has become extremely competitive and hard to enter, and it remains mostly controlled by the same agents and agencies. This has allowed them to become complacent with what they do for their clients. There is a large void in this industry, and that's what made rapper Jay-Z believe he could become a sports agent. Okay, so it's going well with the players because they, they, they love it. They're like, yeah. finally. You know, I got yeah. someone who cares. Yeah. How's it going with everybody else who's oh, been no, doing it another yeah. way? Yeah, they're fighting it. They're fighting it because for, for two reasons. They're fighting it because, you know, it's 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 it means you have to work now. You know, they're gonna see at two in the morning when you get that phone call, you've got to pick up. You have to work now, yeah. and they, they and they they're not comfortable with that. Mm. They've been spending twenty, you know, fifteen, twenty years just sitting back collecting a check. Mm. You know, and. And now they have to get out and they have to get up and they have to work and they have to care about these clients because they're going to see the work that we're doing and mm. say, hold on for a second. What's, mm. why, why am I not getting this sort of service? What's, what are you doing? What have you done this week? And, you know, those questions are, start, are going to start coming. So they're intimidated by that, the fact that they have to work. And they're intimidated by the fact that their clients will want to want to come to us. Jay-Z, however, isn't the first rapper to attempt to become a sports agent. Master P's agency, No Limit Sports, served as an inexperienced agent to Ricky Williams before he entered the NFL draft in 1999. Because of the agency's lack of experience, Williams received one of the worst contracts in NFL history, and Master P was fired just a year later. Learning from the previous mistakes of others, Jay-Z has made it a point to understand the profession before making any quick decisions, but he has still faced many obstacles along the way. Because Jay-Z owned a 1% share in the Brooklyn Nets, people didn't think he would be able to sign OKC Thunder forward Kevin Durant. The runner rule states that an owner of a team cannot have any affiliation with a sports agency that represents players in contract negotiations. But because KD had already signed a hefty extension with the Thunder, he didn't need to be represented. He was allowed to sign New York Giants wide receiver Victor Cruz and help him with a contract extension because they had a pre-existing friendship and he is using the same loophole in order to sign New York Jets quarterback Geno Smith as well. Although these signings might be controversial, Jay-Z has stated that his only purpose is to help athletes that are being taken advantage of with their money. You're not worried about the guy's, you know, financial situation. Mental health. Yeah, Mental health. health. Yeah. Uh, you know, that, and that's why these guys go broke. Now, you have these huge contracts, but the average... Uh, uh, I want to say football players broke within three to four years. It's unbelievable that these are the real stats and no one's doing anything to, to correct it. Because it's someone else. Where you know, maybe the players, right? that's, that's maybe unfair to say. Maybe the Players Association, you know, they, they're trying to do a mm. bit of it. But I'm the people that's representing them. Yeah. You know, the they, business they, needs to take some responsibility yeah, exactly. for, for, the, for, what it, for its earnings, what it gets exactly. out of it. Exactly. Yeah. So you're going to, to, to people in sports and you're saying, we want to provide the same kind of umbrella of development and support that we give to our artists for you. Right. How's it going? Fantastic, right? I mean, with, well, within two months, we had Robinson Cano and yeah. Kevin Durant. You yeah. know, it's just the financial aspect of sports agencies don't vary that much. The fees are pretty standard, and the players and coaches associations do have limits for the fees of contract negotiation, but they don't for marketing. A standard fee for a contract is normally 3% of all contract earnings, which seems small, but can be a rather large figure in some instances. Still, the bread and butter of an agent is the revenue he can generate from one player with their marketing deals. A standard fee for marketing for an agent is normally around 20%, which is a significantly larger number than the percentage they get from the contract negotiation, and is where an agent can stand to profit the most off their client. In Jay-Z's case, marketing is much easier for him than it is for other agencies considering how famous he is, meaning that both he and his clients are able to make more money than ever seen before in the world of sports.
by proving his worth by signing Kevin Durant, Robinson Cano, Victor Cruz, Skylar Diggins, Deshaun Jackson, and other big-time pro athletes. Jay-Z and Rock Nation figured to take over the sports agency world sooner or later, and other sports agencies better step their game up quick or else they won't have any clients for much longer.